Okay, so this deals with beat frequency. Um, and we didn't get to talk about that in class because of the snow day, but it's a very simple equation, and that is the frequency of a beat is just the absolute value of the difference between the two frequencies that are uh, being played. So if one string is plucked in at 65.4 hertz and another one is plucked in at 66.4 hertz, you'll hear a beat frequency of 2 hertz. Or with one 65.4 and the other one is 63.4 hertz, again, the beat frequency will be 2 hertz. So it doesn't matter just the absolute value of the difference be between the two. So that part will be easy. The question is, all right, we have one frequency. Then this person, this cellist, uses 15 sixteenths the length of the string. And so what will be the frequency we hear when she uh, makes the wavelength that much smaller? So for strings tied on both ends, we know this equation, lambda n equals 2L over n. Since it's the fundamental frequency, when you just pluck it, uh, n equals 1. So lambda 1 equals 2L over 1. So let's just say this is true for the first cellist who's still playing this. For the other cellist who shortens it, then hers is going to be 15 sixteenths of 2L over 1, right? Because it's shorter. So we'll call that fundamental frequency lambda 1 asterisk, uh, which means it'll be 15 sixteenths of lambda 1. Well, if we substitute in lambda 1 here, this expression is the same thing as 15 sixteenths of lambda 1. I don't want the asterisk there. So 15 sixteenths of lambda 1 is the same thing as lambda 1 asterisk. Now where is this coming from? So the speed of sound is lambda f, and since both of them are sound waves, since both of them are sound waves, they'll both equal 343 meters per second, which we don't even need that. We just know, know that lambda f of 1 will equal lambda f of the other. So lambda 1 f1 of the first cellist should equal lambda 1 f1 of the second cellist, but her lambda is smaller. So if you set up this equation, uh, you can solve for F1 asterisk, and this will be the frequency of the second cellist with the shorter string. Um, that will give you uh, the uh, value of her frequency, and that, that's really the same thing as F2. So put in 65.4 hertz here, put in the result of 16 15ths of that here, and you'll get the correct beat frequency.